as we are here to try to upgrade and improve the bus runs across this country, and I, I can now say that um, Kamet has given us the directive to bring in Kyle Renate from Guatemala and ADU from the north to bring passengers into Belize as tourists. So they will stop at specific location, but not to pick up any Belizeans. Unless you're a Belizean and you want to go to Merida, you can catch up that bus from a particular location, but across the border, not to stop in Croza. So it will not affect our local operators. They are going to stop only at terminals. So our local operators, the terminals, and our local supervisors will make sure that they pick up only passengers who go across the border on both sides. Right talk, Fox, our country needs to upgrade our bus industry. We are the smallest country in Central America, and we need every opportunity to go Belize. And the Ministry of Tourism is saying that because there is no local transition from the west and from the north, then it's affecting the tourism industry. Okay, so the two bus lines, um, north and, and, and the west. North and the west. So they are going to bring tourists into Belize and likewise take them out whenever they want to go, but make sure they book to go across the border, not to Chatamal, not to Melchor, but across the border. And how many um, yeah. runs are we talking about? Um, I think it's frontal and is one run per day, and eight will eventually be two runs per day from, from Mexico side. So if you are a Belizean and you, you are sick, and you want to go to Merida, you can go to the Belize terminal and catch the bus, go directly to Merida. In terms of policing, how do you police in terms of human trafficking? Because we've seen a lot of Central American um, um, citizens using Belize as a transit point. Very good point, and I believe the, the problem of immigration will be, have to be very active. Likewise, you are seeing are very active at the international airport because it's, a, it's, it's not a transit point for those from other countries to pass through the Belize to reach the country of opportunity, which is the USA. It would be impossible for traffic officers and police officers to, to police the entire highway. Yeah, I say we will have to include the Department of Immigration because they know exactly what to check for. The police and the traffic officer don't really know what to check for. So I have to talk to the Minister of Immigration to make sure they also be a part of the checkpoints. Is there an agreement that's going to be signed with the owners or the operators of these two companies, like an MOU, so that if there's any infractions, that then there is penalties? Yes, so a lot has been prepared by the Department of Transport, and hopefully before the start, that will be signed.